Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Diamond the Body, aka DTB, ha, aka Disturbing These Baddies, because <laughs> clearly that's what I do. Um, so today I'm going to do my review for episode, what's that, six, seven, episode seven. Um, I got some notes here, you know, I gotta have my notes so I don't forget that thing. Uh, so let's get it started. Basically, today we are on our way to Puerto Rico. We're leaving Barbados, it's our last day. Um, there are scenes of us packing, you know, I got my diamond dolls on because, you know, I got to represent my people. So I just want to say that first and foremost, my diamond dolls, like y'all, like I be representing y'all like for real, for real, like my fan base, my supporters, like I, I, I I'm rocking with y'all like y'all rocking with me. So I always, I love to see y'all on the screen when I see diamond dolls. I just hope y'all be as happy as me seeing me represent y'all on the screen um so yeah diamond dolls uh okay so oh you know what before i finish this i just need to make a quick insert right for those of you that support me for those of you that are fans of me for those of you that are new to you know diamond the body uh even old like whatever if you love me if you're a fan of me um uh, i would love for you to also be a fan of my music you know what I'm saying? Like, that is something that's so very dear and important to me. Like, reality TV is cool. I love it. I love being the camera. Great. But my main thing is, you know, music. So, if you guys could support me in my music, like, you support me. Like, if you love me on the show, like, support my music, you know? And my music videos. And even if you don't like it, you don't even got to like the music. Just play the shit. Give me a stream. Give me a view. <laughs> that ain't gonna hurt you. If you like, I love Diamond, but I can't stand her music. But you know what? Let me just watch this video. Give her a little extra view and be done with it. So I can say that I supported her. You know what I'm saying? Like, do me that favor. So I just dropped Drive the Boat music video. So I would love for you guys to go check that out. Um, I, I'm trying to get the same amount of views as I get in these reviews on my music videos okay so do me that favor if you love me i really appreciate it thank you so much anyways back to baddies um scotty passport she lost her passport um i know the feeling i've lost a passport before that shit is i i never lo lost it out the country but i lost it when i was going out the country and my flight was booked and i had to get it tomorrow i had to run to the it, it it's very scary i you know i felt for scotty but um i do think natalie's being a little bit insensitive like you know, but at the same time, Scotty was being irresponsible. But at the same time, Natalie was being a little ins insensitive. Like, come on, girl. Like, we all have lost something before. Like, you know, but nobody was going to leave her. Like, let's be real. Nobody was going to leave Scotty. Uh, <laughs> um, she's a part of the cast. We're filming a show. What will we do without one of the cast members? You get it? So she really didn't have nothing to worry about. But I'm glad she did find her passport because obviously we need passports uh so yeah i got to ride on the og jet with the ogs you know i was with natalie um jayla sapphire we definitely had a good time we turned up uh it was a little you know a moment where jayla was talking about her bite mark and you know i did feel really bad she started crying like i understand that like you know the bite is right here it's really big it's really ugly like just that scar like i understand why that will bother you like i have to get up and look in the mirror every day and see this shit right here on my chest you know what i'm saying like but i'd be sad too like damn but at the same time you jumped on gretchen first you didn't have to fight her so what what come with that is what come with that you get what i'm saying like you decided to go out of your way to fight this girl so you really can't be mad at whatever consequence or what happened during that fight is like you started the fight you get what i'm saying so i do feel bad for her that she got the bite mark but it's still just like you start like you started it. you gotta be a you gotta be a g about it like hey fuck it you feel me that bitch bit me bitch i'm gonna keep fire her. she bite me again i don't give a fuck because i still stand on what, what i you know keep that i just feel like you know keep that energy um, okay, so the other jet ride, you know, all the other girls was there, Tink, uh, everybody else. But I just wanted to uh, specifically talk about one part, which, 
you know, kind of probably went unnoticed because it wasn't really that big a deal. But when Tink was doing her, uh, what's it called? You know, the cheers. And she had, you know, called out Meatball and was like, you know, me and you in it together, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, well, you know, if you don't want to rock with me, I'm going to rock with Siki. <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught that, but that was said. And you could kind of just see the genuine more connection that she has with Tasiki and Tasiki has with her than Tasiki has with me. So this was just, this not for the show, but I know a lot of uh, been going around on the internet about Tasiki saying about she don't really fuck with me, like whatever. But I just wanted to show y'all, like if y'all could see in the show, y'all will see that she's more, you know what I'm saying? Like they have more of a relationship than me and Tasiki do. So I do understand why she vouches for Ting more, likes Ting, you know what I'm saying? Like they got to connect more on the show than me and her did. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, I was drunk as fuck in the confessionals, by the way. Somebody wrote me and was like, why are they editing you to look slow? I'm like, babe, <laughs> they not editing me to look slow. I'm drunk. So how the confessionals work, like we film the confessionals for like two, three hours at a time. So in the beginning, I wasn't drunk. And then I started taking shots, drawing, you know, they give you a little break. So I was drinking while like filming the confessionals. I had a cup right here. So I'll, you know, just take a sip while in between recording and by this time i'm drunk y'all y'all can see it in my eyes and like, my eyes are glossy they're like red like i'm drunk so i don't know what's about to come out of my mouth in the next couple episodes and it is gonna be the same confessional look i'm tired of it already but i don't know they still got me in the same hair same outfit but hopefully next uh scene it'll be a different look but whatever if it's not um, yeah, the house was definitely a maze. Uh, it was really crazy. It was like upstairs, down, it was like 10,000 staircases. It was like rooms and suites. It, it was, it, it kind of reminded me like a brothel or something. I don't know. I think they said that it was a brothel before, but never, it, it was nice. It was a nice house. Um, you get to the house, everybody finds a room. I jumped in my bed and I was out of there. Like, uh, I'm tired. We just got off the jet. I've been drinking on the jet, jet lag. I'm tired. So I went straight to the bed. <laughs> I don't got time to talk, do nothing. Um, okay, so now my scene with Slim. Okay, so yes, uh, I did walk in the scene with two shades on and that's because um, I really don't see where you're coming from. <laughs> I really don't see, I, I don't see where you're coming from. I can't see where you're coming from. And, you know, it was just a lot of shade. I knew it was going to be a lot of shade in that scene. So I had to have two shades on so I could ke so I could block the shade. Like, y'all shady. Like, bitch, I got my sh two shades because it's too much shade in here, you know? Um, I thought that scene was really funny, though. It was hilarious. Um, when she was like, oh, I left out of there without a scratch. And then Zeus posted a picture of her with a scratch. Like, I thought that was hilarious. Zeus, y'all messy for that one. Um... Slim wig, is it me or was it very like, I don't know, it was dang, it was like choppy, like it was not given like, you know what, let me mind my business on that one. Um, okay, so this has been a big thing on Instagram, the Asian doll unfollow me situation, the Asian doll spoke on it, I spoke on it. I just want to say like, I genuinely didn't have no like, I want to try to start a beef or start a situation like, she asked me a question about Asian Doll. I knew she was coming. So basically, I knew Asian Doll was coming. When they first announced Asian Doll was coming, I had a conversation. This is off camera. And I was like, oh, this is my bitch. Like, yeah, we follow each other. Da, 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 da. And I don't know. I just went to check to show everybody that, you know, she actually does follow me. And we follow each other. And when I went to check, she don't follow me no more. I was like, oh, shit, wait. What I did? Like, oh, excuse me. And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's just an unfollow. It's not that personal. And it's not that personal. It's not. I unfollow people all the time. And people write me and be like, damn, why'd you unfollow me? And I let them know, like, why I unfollow them. I'll be like, oh, well, my manager unfollowed you. Or, you know, I'll be like, you don't post enough. Or I really don't like the content that you're posting. It's not like I don't want to see that on my timeline. Like, you know, it's just nothing personal. Like, I fuck with you in real life. Like, Smiley asked me why I unfollowed her. And I told her after the shit you did, like, I just, I, I, could, I couldn't rock with that. After the seizure situation, I was like, I, I unfollowed you. Like, bitch, I, you know, like, 
I feel like everybody have a reason. So I just wanted to know what was that reason? Like it wasn't beefy. It wasn't like personal. It wasn't like angry. It was just like, oh, I just want to know. Like she's coming here. So shit, why well, I, I just want to ask her. Like, and I really wasn't even going to say it at first. Natalie kind of pulled it out of me. I was like, the fan. And then she was like, what? What? You don't like Asian? And I'm like, no, I don't I not like her. I just, I kind of want to ask her a question. And then, you know, Natalie being messy, like, what's the question? We all want to know, what's the question? So I just had to say the question. So that's it. It wasn't like nothing personal. It was no beef with Asian. We spoke about it. She followed me back. We followed each other. We had a great time on the show together. I love Asian Doll. Asian Doll loves me. That's my girl. And yeah, so that situation, dead. Um, the living room scene. Okay, I did apologize to Tink again. And a lot of people are upset. Like, why do you apologize? Why do you apologize? Okay, so remember, I said after I get revenge for Ginger, then I'll apologize. I seen with Scotty when I was like, we gonna fight again and again and again. And then, then I'm apologize. So I'm a woman of my word. We fought again and again and again and again. And then I apologize. Because even though I apologized then, we still ended up fighting again. So it's like... Was a, I, the, I don't feel like the apology really stuck or she didn't really feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just fought again. So I wanted to apologize again separately in a different setting. Like, okay, we're here. We're in a living room. It's a house meeting. Let me just tell you here. So you, you don't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, a, like, I'm apologizing for real. Like, not in a hostile situation. Like, I want to apologize in a normal setting where I could just say to you like hey and then honestly I had to explain like I do understand where you're coming from like I do I do I know I was I, it was wrong <laughs> did, I still did it would I do it again absolutely I wouldn't change a thing but it still was wrong I didn't have to snatch her wig I could have tied that bitch on her shoulder and said hey turn around fuck it let's go you know like it's other ways I could have did it so yes I was wrong yes I did apologize and that's it so um yeah i feel like i feel like i got my revenge for ginger so you know i did i did my big one for ginger you know what i'm saying a lot of people still speculating is honestly we both really pretty much fight alike we do a lot of grabbing a lot of head locking like it's no way the only way we gonna see who gonna ever win between me and tank uh tank is if we did a boxing match because besides that we both gonna lock up we both gonna grab each other we both gonna fall to the ground and be rolling around <laughs> so it's never gonna be like our fighting styles are just too i don't know similar or weird or whatever but yeah so that's done um jayla apologized to biggie that was really cute you know everybody just being on a grown woman shit like hey let's just move on we're here you're not trying to drag this shit out. And it's just funny, too. Let me say something. A lot of people, was like, the first couple episodes, that's why I really feel like I get it that you want to comment on every episode, but it's, like, everything that y'all was saying for me to do two episodes earlier is, like, I did two episodes later. I even said in the confessionals, I'm like, I'm not going to drag this beef out. Like, it's over. It's done. Like, y'all was asking for me to do that two episodes ago. And in my mind, I'm like, I did that two episodes later. But I can't say that because the episode didn't come out yet. So I'm just like, Lenny, y'all. But sometimes y'all got to really just watch the whole... Honestly, you got to watch the whole thing to see everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't really just judge stuff based off the first few episodes. Because you just never know who's going to switch up, who's going to do what. Like, you can definitely have your faves now. Obviously, as you're watching it, you're going to be picking people that you like, picking people that you don't like, but you never know. By the end, you might not like somebody in the beginning and then like them later at the end. Or you might love somebody in the beginning and then not like them later at the end. So for those of y'all that hate me, just keep watching. You might end up loving me. And for those of y'all that love me, I can't do no wrong. <laughs> they could never make you hate me, right? <laughs> right so that don't even apply to y'all because <laughs> y'all love me um meatball and gretchen gretchen comes in again she's like you know she snuck me um you know she want to fight and you know shit i'm i'm all for it like gretchen she says she want to fight meatball say she want to fight fight <laughs> you know what i'm saying meatball just slung her to the ground 
uh, Meatball Jeff. I mean, obviously, Meatball won that fight. Uh, they do fight, I think, another round the next episode, but we'll see that later. But uh, so there's another little thing that's going around a clip where I guess I had tapped Meatball and she like moved my hand out the way. Um, that situation was not, I, I wouldn't say it was that serious. I feel like, you know, when people be in the heat of the moment, like you upset and then you don't, you know, like you're upset, like, bitch, don't touch me. Like it wasn't, I don't think at that point it wasn't super personal yet. Like it wasn't like we start not liking each other or later on, you'll see that. But for that moment, I feel like it was just, uh, I'm upset right now. Like, bitch, don't like. I feel like anybody could have touched her and she would have had that same reaction like i'm ready to fight you know so i didn't take it no way that day like we were still cordial at that time but you will see later on when we start not fucking with each other so yeah this episode was very very it wasn't a lot of fighting it wasn't a lot of drama it was more a lot of apologizing and i just want to bring to a point that i you know i read um majority of all the comments all the blog pages everything i try to read all the comments just to see the majority of what everybody thinks and what's so crazy is y'all are just so like this is crazy because when we doing so much fighting everybody's talking about it everybody's like oh my god y'all fight too much y'all uh, can we have some scenes where y'all just being yourself and being this and doing this and i don't want to see you fight no more i want to see you do this and as soon as we have an episode they don't have that much fighting in it and everybody just talking and personalities and this and that. Everybody, oh, this episode's boring, boring, boring. Uh, well, nothing happened. This episode was weak. Yeah, y'all could have kept this episode, but and it's like, but y'all, what? But even with all the fighting, y'all don't never say the episode is boring. Y'all be still entertained y'all just have a lot of opinions about it and who filed why the fight oh this beef is whack this beef is stupid this beef is this this beef is that but y'all are still entertained and then when there's no fighting everybody's like oh it, this episode was boring so that just goes to my other point that y'all be loving to see y'all be loving the drama y'all be loving the drama stop acting like you don't stop acting like you don't because you do Cause I do, bitch. I be watching the script. Y'all yeah, get out, period. Yeah. Bitch, I be excited too. So I know y'all be excited. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, guys, that was my review. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, follow, and uh, leave comments. Comment below. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you felt about this episode. Did you like this episode? Was it boring? Was it exciting? Did you care for the fighting? Did you not care for the fighting? Just let me know what you think in the comments. And also, subscribe to my other YouTube, my music YouTube channel, which is Diamond the Body. Okay, that's where I'll put all my music videos and certain things. I do have music videos on this channel too, but that one over there is specifically just for music. So, you know, if you are interested in my music, go subscribe to that channel. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Yes, I know you guys see my big life size uh, me. <laughs> I love it so much. Isn't it so beautiful? But... <laughs> Yeah, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Um, yeah, peace out. PTB. <laughs> Keep disturbing these bitches. Keep being time dolls. And, you know, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.